The Azetta School District is reaching out to parents, making sure their students to show up to class as the school year comes to a close. With nine weeks to go, schools are shifting their focus to the end of the year state mandated exams. And the district superintendent says many students are under the impression that not showing up for school after the exam is not important, but it is. They're wrong. Every day is important. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Pantasar spoke with the superintendent, and he's live in the studio to share their conversation. Jesus. Mr. Laisleta is the superintendent. Xavier de la Torre explained that there's a misconception that state funding for school districts is based on enrollment. In truth, he says, it is actually based on average daily student attendance. As Isleta and other school districts across town approach the end of the school year, Maintaining student attendance becomes of paramount importance and a great challenge. De La Torre says that that task is placed against a backdrop of financial challenges his and other school districts face after the Texas legislature failed to increase funding for public school districts last year, forcing the district to be extremely meticulous with their finances. De La Torre says that as YISD continues to decline in enrollment as a result of being geographically landlocked, preventing them from growing and expanding its borders, student attendance becomes crucial to their financial stability. Even if your enrollment goes down, if you can increase your attendance, it can mitigate some of the revenue lost from having lost enrollment because you've improved the attendance. And so for any number of reasons, it's important that during this last nine weeks that we come up with incentives. De La Torre shared that Isleta currently has an average daily attendance rate of over 94 percent and have maintained through the end of the year the district could see $9 million in increased state funding for the next school year. De La Torre also says they're working on providing incentives for students to show up and are trying to reach out to families whose students may be facing challenges to come out to school. Ultimately, he said, it's a partnership with students and their families to get them to school. Reporting for, for 9 News, I'm Jesus Baltazar. Back to you. Okay.